Oh, hi, Mom. Yeah, it's 6.30 in the morning. I know what time it is. I have been up almost all night. I want you over here the minute you get dressed. Robert called us late last night. Oh, shit. Where is she? Back in her dressing area. And <laughs> she ain't in too good a mood, either. Shit. Where's Dad? He has already gone to work. Thank God. What in the hell were you thinking, Alexandra? Have you completely lost your mind? Just what exactly made you cross that line? I mean, what was it? Were you bored with Robert? Did you just want to experiment? Oh, it's all our fault, I suppose. You being an only child, you always were selfish. Just anything for attention. After all that your father and I have done for you, this is how you repay us. You know that what you are doing is a sin. It is against the Bible. Did you know that the entire town is talking about you and that, that trash Grace Miller this morning? Couldn't you have done something like that on the weekend? And this is just going to ruin your father's business. Not to mention poor Robert. What is he going to do? How are any of us expected to show our face in public again? Why, hell, I can't even show my face at the beauty shop. I just have one more question to ask you, Alexandra. I mean, look at the way you are dressed. Are you the man now? <sighs> Darling, you can't expect Lily to understand what this is all about. She's in shock. I know, but she doesn't have to be so mean. You know, it's a bit of a shock to me realizing I'm not quite the person I thought I was either. That you could have knocked Cruella over with a feather when Robert called her last night. I will not have you talk about Lily Talbot that way. That woman was the first client who ever really gave me a job in this town. Give her some time, dear. She'll come around eventually. Even my mom had trouble with it at first, Alex. But once she saw how happy I was, she was okay. <laughs> 